excited and grateful to be able to welcome Geshe Rapgyal to our program as he leads us in our morning devotional. Geshe? Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much. And good morning, the friend of RPP and also people. <clears throat> I am honored to lead this morning our kind of meditation session. Uh, I call also some people who may do some rituals. However, <clears throat> I feel that very important. I mean, it's uh, especially everybody you know this time how it's difficult, how many challenges we <clears throat> going to be faced. So <clears throat> I am also grateful for the city, we really, I mean, many organizations, including government is doing a lot of <clears throat> things and for this time, trying to change and then um, make better for our citizens and people who lived in this <clears throat> city, uh, including mice and I am perhaps to this morning is come uh, Dipongoma Center for Engage Campaign. Uh, you know, since middle of March, we're doing here every day, two hours prayers for our city and our community and then um, entire world. We don't have to any introduce, you know, how it's a difficult year in this year, how many people have been losing our loved ones. I mean, the logically where the Buddhists understand all us is interconnected. You know, we depend on each other. It's no matter which nation you live and where you from, and what you believe systems, but in reality is we all interdependent, we all interconnected. Thus we can feel this kind of challenges. You know, in the morning we watch our the um, kind of uh, world news and then people have very, very difficult and the parents, children and you know, or brothers, sisters, and then we have here, you know, very sadness, which is, that shows us biologically, we all is interconnected. We have here, you know, and naturally with our mind have compassion, loving kindness, and also wisdom. And, I read now is what we're going to do, we're trying to develop our natural human qualities, which is loving kindness, compassion, and wisdom. Wisdom is trying to understand reality and also the, the, the causes, how we can face this, how we can face these challenges. And then, <clears throat> In this point is sometimes meditations helps a lot. You know, meditation is a meditation is not only beyond this uh, Buddhist culture. You know, is doing all kind of squalid of human beings, and the meditations have two tips we can do the way. The first one we turn to, you know, single point meditation, which is. Uh, the Sanskrit is their told is Shatama and Shani. So that is the purpose of single point meditation. We turn to find out our different stage of our mind, which is mind right now, what we used to is very easily to upset and anxiety and then, you know, difficult and like it's large, uh, the, the negative mental fashions can be disturbed our peaceful mind and our calmness mind. 
and then during the the single point meditation, we turn to find out other stage, the stage of our mind, which is deeper. And this mind stage is more calmness, more peaceful. But the, the question is how we get there. We need some shows, our the object. Sometimes we can, you know, focus on burdens. Burden on, burden on. And when you family this meditation, also you can visualize to send in your love and compassion, some to others who need this time. And you know, you see the difficult times, and we can send our prayers and spiritual qualities and love and compassion toward others who need. And then that is when we breathe all. And then we breathe in, and we turn to stay solidarity. It's the genuinely with this difficult time. Our brothers, sisters, you know, our family members who know. We can, you know, we can turn to solidarity with them and we turn to their difficulties and sufferings, turn to take our responsibility <clears throat> and then that is we maybe this morning we can you know imagine that way and then we will be doing meditation and i'm honored to lead this meditation with you all okay Before I will be say some few words on prayer. May all beings have happiness and cause of happiness. May all beings be free from suffering and cause of suffering. May all beings never lose the happiness beyond all sufferings. May all beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment regions.
<clears throat> the through the <clears throat> meditation purpose, we have some <clears throat> button it and also ability to transform transform our thoughts which is, sometimes we have a lot of worry and fear and anxieties and frustrations into the thought patient and compassion, loving kindness, and understand wisdom. And <clears throat> so I hope you do some meditation um, kind of uh, daily. This hopes a lot. And then um, the finally, may you happy and may you free from suffering. May you have peace and <clears throat> wisdom and also uh, take this opportunity thank you for Nali and also the leaders APP uh, the um, community I mean wonderful work really we need this time is hope um, many different ways and different skills um, so <clears throat> And also thank you for our city uh, mayor and then other communities, really. Um, thank you for uh, gave, gave this opportunity for me and then um, um, that's all really today. Thank you so very much. We are grateful to you and to the center for engaging compassion, for leading our Friday morning devotionals. And um, we hope to see you again on another Friday uh, for all of you tuning in on Facebook Live, I hope to see you all at 3 p.m. for our Enneagram community and how to engage our Enneagram types so that we can participate in the great cosmic drama that is unfolding in a positive way. And tomorrow morning, we will have the Baha'i community that will be leading us in worship. So stay tuned, be well, and please bring compassion wherever you go so that our world can be a better and more compassionate place. Thank you again so much for leading us. Thank you. Thank you, Nani. Thank you.